To achieve the goals of safety, efficiency, and productivity, you need to understand some of the design features found on the compact excavator. These features are what make the compact excavator unique and able to perform as no other machine can. This is a Bobcat compact hydraulic excavator. Its main structural components are track frame with tracks, upper structure or house with 360 degree slew rotation, boom with independent swing, arm or dipper, bucket or attachment, blade, and a canopy or cab. Tracks provide operational benefits and independent track controls provide excellent maneuverability. Some models have a retractable track feature to reduce the overall width temporarily and allow the excavator to access narrow areas to get to the work site. The Bobcat Compact Excavator offers the convenience and versatility of compact excavation. The compact excavator's ability to get into places or work along objects that traditional backhoes can't makes it an extremely useful piece of equipment. Knowledge is a major ingredient for safety. Knowing yourself, your machine, and the job site all contribute to getting the job done efficiently and safely. It is important that you and everyone who operates a Bobcat Compact Excavator understands proper machine operation and recognizes situations that could result in an accident, injuring yourself or someone working with you. Safe operation and maintenance is the responsibility of the operator. The Bobcat Compact Excavator Operation and Maintenance Manual is your primary guide for safe excavator operation and maintenance. Another excellent source is the Bilingual Compact Excavator Safety Manual in English and Spanish produced by the Association of Equipment Manufacturers. The Operator's Handbook, located by the Operator's Seat, is another convenient reference for operator instruction. It is essential that you become familiar with the operation of your particular excavator. You will see this safety alert symbol throughout the presentation, as well as in various manuals, the operator's handbook, and on machine safety signs or decals. It identifies important safety messages. When you see it, be alert to the possibility of serious injury or death. Always follow the instructions in the safety message. This symbol points out actions you should avoid to reduce the potential for injury. Bobcat Compact Excavators are equipped with many safety features, including grab handles and safety treads for entering and exiting, a rollover protective structure, or ROPS, and or tip-over protective structure, or TOPS, a seat belt for operator restraint, and control console lockouts. When the console is raised, the hydraulic and traction system functions are locked and will not operate. A secondary exit has been provided on excavators equipped with a cab. When entering the cab, always face the machine. Use the grab handles. Step on the track. Then on the safety tread. Always maintaining a three-point contact. Once seated in the operator's seat, fasten your seat belt snugly. Lower the control console and start the engine. When parking the machine, always stop on level ground and allow the engine to cool. Lower the work equipment and blade to the ground. Stop the engine and remove the key or lock the keyless panel. Unfasten your seat belt and raise the control console. As you exit the cab, remember to face the machine. Use grab handles, safety treads, and the track. Never, under any circumstances, leave the operator's seat while the engine is running. If you must park the excavator on a slope, never park with the tracks pointed downhill. Keep the work area free from bystanders. Always look before slewing the upper structure or swinging the boom. Never allow riders on the excavator. 
your Bobcat excavator is a one-person machine. When lifting a load with the excavator, always use a lifting device adequate for the load. Read and understand the rated lift capacity decal on the excavator. Do not exceed the rated lift capacity of your excavator. See the operation and maintenance manual for your model excavator for additional rated lift capacity information such as accessories, attachments, and optional equipment. Overloading could cause tipping and result in injury or death or damage to the machine. When transporting an excavator, always follow the instructions in the operation and maintenance manual for loading, unloading, and tie-down procedures. It is impossible to cover every situation you could encounter on the job. But by following good safety practices and using good judgment, you will protect yourself and those around you. Doing your job well and doing it safely is the mark of a professional. Before you arrive at the job site, know the capabilities and limitations of your equipment. Keep your equipment serviced and know your job requirements. Before you begin any job, make sure the excavator is in good operating condition. Follow daily inspection guidelines found in the operation and maintenance manual and on the service schedule decal. Keep the excavator properly maintained. Once you have completed the daily checks and performed the required services, you're ready to check the job site. Know the terrain and ground conditions at the job site. Be sure the machine is equipped with the proper bucket size or other approved attachments necessary for the job. Use appropriate personal protection, such as a hard hat, safety glasses, or hearing protection. Check to see whether you will need shoring equipment. Be aware of potential job site hazards, such as overhead or underground utilities. Call before you dig. Since the daily checks have been performed and you are knowledgeable about the job site, it's time to learn the operating fundamentals. Always look in the direction of rotation and the direction of travel before moving the excavator. The travel and steering functions are controlled using two steering levers or foot pedals. When operating the excavator, move the steering controls slowly for smooth, efficient movement of the machine. The excavator moves forward or backward depending on the direction the steering controls are moved. Remember, a forward motion of the steering controls will always move the machine in the same direction as the blade. If the upper structure is swung 180 degrees so the blade is behind the operator, pushing the steering controls forward will actually move you backwards. Remember, always look to the rear before backing up. To make a left turn, slowly move the left steering control backward while moving the right control forward. To make a right turn, slowly move the left steering control forward while moving the right control backward. The blade is a very useful part of the Bobcat Compact Excavator and its primary purpose is to backfill your work. The blade is raised and lowered using the blade control lever. Pushing the lever forward lowers the blade. Pulling the lever backward raises the blade. The blade also serves as a stabilizer for the excavator. It can be lowered for increased digging or lifting performance. Some models have an available blade float feature. To engage float, push the blade lever forward until the lever is in the locked position. Pull the lever backward to unlock from the float position. The boom, arm, bucket, and upper structure are operated by using the left and right control levers or joysticks. These joysticks can be used in either a standard control pattern or in ISO control pattern. This means the joystick control lever functions for arm and boom are reversed. Know which control pattern your excavator is set to before operating. 
If you are using a machine set to ISO control pattern, the left joystick controls the arm and slew of the upper structure. Pushing forward moves the arm out, and pulling backward moves the arm in. Moving the joystick to the right rotates the upper structure to the right, and moving it to the left rotates the upper structure to the left. The right joystick with an ISO control pattern controls the operation of the boom and bucket. Pulling backward raises the boom, and pushing forward lowers it. Moving the joystick to the left curls the bucket. Moving it to the right rolls out or dumps the bucket. The boom swing function is controlled using a thumb switch on the left joystick or a boom swing pedal located on the floor on some models. It offsets the boom with respect to the upper structure of the excavator. This is useful when the operator needs to dig close to a building or other structure. Other controls provide for activation of the auxiliary hydraulic system to operate compactors, breakers, hydraulic clamps, and other attachments. All of these controls are located inside the operator's cab. Never start the excavator or operate a control while outside the operator's position. See the operation and maintenance manual for more detailed information on controls for your model excavator. One of the reasons for creating this training course is to make you aware of the importance of understanding basic operating skills. These basic skills must be properly exercised every time you operate the compact excavator. No matter what conditions you are operating under, remember to always wear your seatbelt. The compact excavator offers excellent visibility not only for viewing your work, but also for keeping bystanders away from the machine while operating. When driving the excavator to the site, choose a path that is reasonably flat. Go around obstacles, holes, or drop-offs. When driving down a slope, position the work equipment as shown with the boom and blade pointed downhill. When driving up a slope, position the work equipment as shown with the boom and blade pointed uphill. Do not attempt to change direction until you have reached the top of the slope. When traveling across a side slope, keep your boom centered. Never exceed the slope angles found in the operation and maintenance manual for your compact excavator. Always make sure that you have adequate traction when traveling or working on slopes to prevent the possibility of sliding. If it is necessary to dig on a slope, first dig a shelf into the slope to create a level surface from which to operate. Place the spoil on the top side of the slope to make backfilling easier. If you can't level the area, remember the following. Avoid working with the tracks across the slope Position the excavator with the blade downhill and lowered. Avoid swinging or extending the bucket farther than necessary in the downhill direction. If you must swing the loaded bucket downhill, keep the bucket low and swing slowly. When swinging the bucket uphill, keep it close to the ground. When preparing the machine for transport on a trailer, remember to check that the trailer and towing vehicle are of adequate capacity. Begin by blocking the wheels of your tow vehicle. Driving onto a trailer is similar to driving up a slope. Be sure your ramp angle does not exceed 15 degrees and it is strong enough to support the weight of the excavator. Position the excavator as shown and then begin driving slowly onto the trailer. Keep the track centered on the ramp and remember when the center of the length of tracks reaches the top of the ramp, the excavator will drop down. After loading the excavator, lower the blade and position the dipper and bucket as shown. Engage the upper structure slew lock if equipped. Stop the engine and remove the key or lock the keyless panel. 
install chains using designated tie-down points and recommended tie-down procedures as indicated in the operation and maintenance manual. To become an efficient operator, you need to understand and follow these basic techniques. Once you've mastered them, you will begin using your excavator to its fullest potential. Follow the guidelines in this program and those found in the operation and maintenance and other manuals provided with your excavator for safe, efficient, and productive compact excavator operation and maintenance. For additional information about training resources for all Bobcat equipment, see www.training.bobcat.com or contact your Bobcat dealer.